So there out of his seat, that's Commander Jared, uh, who, like I mentioned before, will be referred to as EV-1. Behind him, we can see already in his new seat, uh, pilot Scott Kid Potit. Uh, he will be support one. Moving around in front of us is Sarah, who will be EV-2. And then just out of view underneath the camera, but I think you can see her visor is um, Anna Menon, who is support two. Dragon SpaceX, road backup sensors, repeat HUD checks. Crew's going to check out those heads up displays one more time, real quick. SpaceX, HUD checkouts on backup sensors on all. Copy good HUDs, returning to primary. Stand by for helmet camera checkouts. I love how everyone looks so calm and collected right now. I think that's a, a, a great visualization of just all the extensive training that they've gone through to right. get to this point. This has been years in the making. I'm sure they're excited, uh, but everyone's focused. Dragon SpaceX. SpaceX is go for spacewalk operations. Report visors down, ready for secondary O2 flow initiation, and crew is go for spacewalk. Verify your visors are closed. Dragon SpaceX initiating secondary O2. And with that news, our EVA has begun. Dragon SpaceX, a reminder, after the initiation of primary O2 flow, EV1, EV2 will need to adjust VOX threshold low following primary O2 flow initiation. EV1 copies. EV2 copies. Dragon SpaceX, secondary flow purge complete. Close secondary O2 valves and report ready for suit pressurization. EV1 closed. EV2 closed. Report 1 closed. Report 2 closed. SpaceX Dragon is ready for suit pressurization. Initiating primary O2. This is normal. This is with the airflow coming through. Uh, the crew members are on Vox, meaning uh, that their, their microphone is on the whole time. So Sarah and Jared are going to be adjusting their audio levels um, as this flow continues to, to help regulate that. So at this moment, the suits are getting their primary pressurization. This takes about three and a half minutes, a little bit less. And then we're going to go through those actual suit leak checks. I, the crew will probably get a reminder. They have to stay really still when we do those leak checks. And I always was kind of wondering, like, why the heck? And, like, if you if you bend your arms, you're actually going to start, you know, changing the volume inside the suit. And that'll cause pressure spikes. And so that's right. you, you got to stay really still. We just heard that uh, they're good. They all, all four crew members gave the go. Uh, so... Now we're going to vent the cabin so it's able to... Dragon SpaceX, cabin pressure below hatch operating limit. Stand by for transition to hatch open prep. Here we go. Dragon SpaceX, one EVA hatch open prep. Confirm crew ready to open hatch. That is great news. Six copies. Dragon, you are go to open hatch. Okay. Exciting. SpaceX, go to open the hatch. Mike, as you mentioned before, that continuous communication. <laughs> as you can hear, we do have a crowd gathering outside of Mission Control uh, here in Hawthorne. In their excitement, somebody dropped a cup. We can see our commander, Jared Isaacman, now turning the crank, which allows the uh, that top hatch to open. We'll see him give it uh, a, a, a pretty heavy. Uh, EV1 hatches visually indicating open copies. Stand by. Should see him give that hatch a pretty strong jolt to release that stiction. As you can see, we have successfully depressurized the Dragon capsule uh, down to zero psia. You see that in the bottom left hand side, bottom left corner of your screen. Um, our four Polariston crew members um, have uh, gone through the uh, O2 flow, and we see Commander Jared um, Isaacman now standing by uh, to open that top hatch. Jared now opening Dragon Resilience in true space. So we saw some motion on the hatch. Again, he's just giving it kind of that initial tug. And then Sarah gets to push the buttons to swing that hatch open. Much more movement there on the forward hatch. That's a good brace. We're going to have you repeat the operation. The center of the hatch actually has a window. The hatch is unseated. Copy. Let's give it another call. The hatch is several inches. Copy. We see it. 
out that tiny window there in the forward hatch, knowing he is going to have a much bigger window in just minutes. There is our first view of the forward hatch, wide open to space. If you just jumped in, we are 38 minutes into today's spacewalk and the hatch is open on Dragon. First view from a helmet cam, looking out. Dragon SpaceX, we see it stalled. EV-1 is go to continue. EV-1 SpaceX, EV-1, I'm transitioning back from under the display. SpaceX copies, we're with you in your helmet cam. Once again, this helmet cam, what we, that structure we see is the, the spacewalker. This is Jared now egressing through the forward hatch of Dragon Resilience. These are the first views of the first ever commercial spacewalk. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. Step into Press Matrix 1. Single handed mobility wow. demonstration. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging Copy from. Copy with you in Test Matrix 1, watching from the nose cone. Up, down, left, and right are three. Kitchen roller three, yaw is in two. Switching. Single handed operations are fine. Static and with dynamic disturbance. Switching to left hand. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared Single -handed is performing. Single handed operations, dynamic and with disturbance are all adequate. Test matrix one complete. HUD checks, 5.3 PSI, 48% RH, 33 decimal nine Celsius. SpaceX copies, test matrix one and HUD readout. And SpaceX EV1, We've taken a quick look here at the hatch seals. From what I can see so far, they look pretty good. Copy on the hatch seals and stand by for transition to three off reset. So Jared back inside. Uh, we, we heard him going through what's called the test matrix. Uh, it's basically just a bunch of maneuvers using different hands, using the foot Jared mobility. Said, yeah, now you mentioned Sarah. Um, just like Jared, she will have 10 to 15 minutes uh, outside, perform those same sets of mobility tests as Jared. Uh, like we heard the core do um, with EV1, uh, they will call out when there's one minute remaining. Uh, SpaceX, attitude reset complete. EV2, go for egress. There is Sarah's clear to proceed. Crew check for EV2 egress. EV1's good. EV2's good. EV2 is good. EV2 is good. EV2 is good. EV2 good. EVT is going to go stand in the door and then step outside. We're exciting to see this. Our fellow SpaceXer, yeah. Sarah Gillis, now about to make her spacewalk. said it before a lot of us work here because we want to do this all right stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility really cool to see one of our own out there that's awesome certainly cross couple of movements forward back i am inducing a bit of a roll Of 
to the left hand, stepping into vertical translation. Six copies and EV2 for awareness. We're tracking an ingress time at 02 flow, five nine minutes. She's got she's got about a minute left, and then she's going to start heading inside. And Let's see if it's a little more work. I can actually get between almost bar one and bar four on that reach. Space copies. And you could see the Earth dark, and we flew into like an orbital. All right, and test matrix to kind of combine them, so we'll call that complete. Pressure 5.27, 38% humidity, 33.7 Celsius. SpaceX copies, matrix complete, and HUD readout. I'm able to engage and disengage my feet. Copy that, DV2, and once you are able to engage, disengage, we'll actually have you start ingress for just over 5, 9 minutes, 02 flow. With that, DV2 is just sitting up ingress. Please check for ingress. Copy, coming on in. Just like that, Sarah's going to start making her way in. Like We're a couple minutes into our leak check. You're, you're seeing the pressure continue to tick up. We've stopped the nitrogen injections, but again, oxygen coming out of essentially a vent line on those suits. Um, and that is why you're going to continue to see the pressure tick up. You heard Jared call out the PPO2. That's gone up. That's your partial pressure of oxygen. Uh, we're looking to, for that to get to over about 2.6, a little bit higher. Um, and then our final actual, like, just ambient pressure inside Dragon is going to be uh, right around 14.4. So, and I mean, that's that's a little bit lower than what we're walking around yeah. in now. But like, if you're at a little higher altitude. Uh, state in the country or something that's that's what you might be sitting in right now in your house and that's they haven't been at that pressure since they left her but after we get all the way up there we're gonna do kind of a final uh, flush of the suits using that nitrox uh, that Kay was talking about uh, that takes them out of that pure oxygen environment and that's one of the final steps before we'll be able to hear that call from Arthur of EVA operations complete and that's when our clock's gonna stop we got views again. Well, it might look like the feed is frozen. If you look closely, you can see small micro movements there with fingers and uh, the strap above Anna's shoulder. Um, we uh, unfortunately, due to uh, ground station coverage, don't have video 100% of the time, even though <laughs> we wish we did. <laughs> that would be great. But we can see that uh, Jared and Sarah uh, are not strapped into their seats, uh, of course, because they performed uh, their EVAs or their spacewalks, uh, extravehicular activities, where Anna and Kid remained in their seats, the window seats, so we can see their um, safety harnesses uh, still strapped in there. Um, at this point in time, we are continuing with the repressurization of the, uh, of the Dragon capsule, Dragon Resilience, all four were exposed to the vacuum of space. This is the first time that's ever happened in human history, having four people all at the same time. Yep. EVA repress is complete, continuing suit washout. Great news there. Confirmation that Dragon repress is now complete. All right, check secondary O2 valves closed. EV1 closed. EV2 closed. Four one closed. Four two closed. All right, you're going to manually vent down. Smell that. Space. Dragon SpaceX, EV operations complete. Head to that SpaceX. You show the same. Nice job for everyone. Uh, and everyone at SpaceX who made it possible. Wow. If you're just joining us, we just heard the call out that EV op. EVA operations are complete. Um, really, that's it. That was the first ever commercial spacewalk.